Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Lemon Lime Nandina from the Southern Living Plant Collection. This is a semi-dwarf Nandina. It'll get three or four feet tall. It's hardy in zones six to ten. Very tough, very rugged plant that has bright yellow new foliage on it all season long. This is a great variety to brighten up kind of any spot year round. I really, really like this variety. Uh, it sells like crazy uh, at the garden center because it's so showy. It's very early April right now and it's been cold in my area. So it's got a little bit of that yellow on it right now, but not as much as it'll have in two or three weeks. In two or three weeks, the whole entire top of this plant will just be bright, vivid yellow. Stay super, super full without really doing any maintenance to it at all. I'm putting three of these on my front foundation and it's a south facing foundation. And so it's gonna to get tons and tons of sun throughout the winter time. And it's also on the southwest corner of my foundation. So in the afternoons, the sun's really gonna slam this space and great choice uh, for any really difficult space. Uh, there's a lot of these new varieties of Nandinas. You've seen me plant some Obsession Nandinas on the west side of my house. I planted a couple Flirt Nandinas in the front. Uh, you know, Nandinas have been around my whole life. Uh, friends of I would throw the berries at one another when I was a kid and they were big wild things that were you know just planted in everyone's yard and I never really thought I'd come around to going holy moly these plants are fantastic because these new varieties that are being introduced are all compact low growing super bright red foliage super bright kind of pink foliage on the there's one called blush pink and then this lemon lime one is just really super super showy and if you have a part shade spot where you're just trying to get something to pop in there this is a perfect plant for that i sell these in one gallon pots at my garden center and you're going to see me plug a couple of those into uh, containers in a few weeks just to get something that's just a bright yellow pop uh, all summer long so i'll fertilize this when i put it in the ground it's in early spring now that's the only fertilizing you'd need to do on it really it's not going to need any pruning it can get three or four feet tall which is a little taller than i want it out there so maybe in three or four or five years down the road, uh, I may cut the thing in half uh, one year and I would do that, you know, late winter, early spring, and it'd just come right back out from that uh, without any problems really. Other than that, there's really not a lot of maintenance. I'll mound it up a little bit when I plant it. I've got some planting uh, instruction videos on my channel if you wanna check that out a little more, but uh, super industrial plant that I'm just not that concerned about. Um, I'll keep it mulched. I'll water it in really well when I plant it. And then once these are established, these are extremely drought tolerant. I live in the Southeast United States and we get kind of regular rainfall. So unless we go into an abnormally dry time, once this thing is established, I probably won't do a lot of ongoing watering on it. But initially for the first six months, nine months or a year, uh, I'll keep a close eye on it. If it dries out, I'll water the space really well, saturate it really well, and then let it become dry again. Here are the three lemon lime Nandinas. One's there, one's there, and one's there here on my foundation. They're gonna be pretty much almost no maintenance here. These are pest and deer resistant. If you follow my channel, I do kind of monthly walk around videos. You'll see as the season comes on how much brighter this gets over time. So thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos.